All day today, we have been bringing you stories of unsolved cases here in Michigan. There are thousands of cold cases detectives are still working to solve, and some of them, of course, the details are just impossible to forget. Tonight, our Steve Gargiola examines where four unsolved cases stand right now, beginning with one of the state's oldest case. Real hard area to search, real, real heavy brush. Police with tracking dogs search near the spot Paige Renkowski was last seen. Her disappearance ranks among Michigan's longest running unsolved mysteries. For somebody not to see something and come forward with that information to me is probably the most odd thing about this, this particular case. The morning of May 24th, 1990, Paige Renkowski dropped off her mother at Metro Airport. Police found Paige's car parked on the shoulder of I-96 near the Fowlerville exit later that afternoon, with the engine running, her purse and shoes inside the car. Witnesses later told police they had seen her talking to a man who had parked a maroon minivan behind her car. Obviously somebody got her to stop, pull over on the side of the road, and um, it appears they had her out of the car and were talking to her. So how they got her to the side of the road is anybody's guess. Did she know the man in the minivan? Did she go voluntarily or was abducted? She's not been seen since. Police consider this case an unsolved murder. Almost 800,000 children are reported missing every year. Most of those stories have a happy ending. Some end in tragedy. Still others remain a grim mystery. Whoever has my baby, please bring him back home. That's all, so he can be home for Christmas, so we can have, so we can have a good family Christmas. Four-year-old Dewan Sims disappeared on December 11th, 1994. His mother, Dewana Harris, now Dewana Jackson, said she took her son to the Wonderland Mall in Livonia and he vanished in a crowd of shoppers. My daughter said that she entered that mall and went to that Target store, that's what she did. Surveillance video at the mall revealed Harris, but not her son. Investigators believed he was never there and his family became the focus of suspicion. I agree to let them search my home. We have nothing to hide. My family has nothing to hide. Now, Dewan Sims remains a missing person, vanished without a trace. The disappearance of three-year-old Tangina Hussein in October of 2008 is another in which police never could establish a crime had been committed. Suspects are when we have a crime. We have no crime at this point. Jamrul Hussein, the boyfriend of Tangina's mother, said he drove to a gas station with the little girl left her in his locked car while he went inside for a pack of gum. The car was parked in an area with no cameras. He told police when he came out, the little girl was gone. Hussein took two polygraphs that proved inconclusive. While investigators doubted his story, Hussein was never named a suspect, and the little girl was never found. As an investigator, you go in, you have to have hope. That's, the, that, that's what keeps you going. That's what keeps you investigating the case. There is no hope that Nevaeh Buchanan is alive. On June 4th, 2009, her body was found along the banks of the River Raisin in Monroe, 11 days after she had vanished. When we all got the news, I think all of us hit us Near hard. Me. We just... I think everybody's it's... still in shock. It's just unbelievable. As in many cold cases, the well of tips and information has run dry. As we approach the 10th anniversary of Nevaeh's murder, no suspect has ever been identified. Livingston County, Detroit, Livonia, Monroe. Police in each of those jurisdictions believe somebody knows something. They just need that somebody to come forward. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4. And of course, one of the state's highest profile cold cases remains the Oakland County child killer case from the 1970s. That is also the focus of our newest podcast, Child Killer. You can subscribe now wherever you listen to podcasts or head to shatteredpodcast.com.